Okay, today we're going to learn the derivatives for other exponential functions that space is not e. So if you remember, we learned the rule for the derivative of e to the x was just e to the x. So the derivative of an exponential is still an exponential function. Now, even if the base is not e, the same idea applies. The derivative of a to the x, where a is any number, could be 3 to the x, 4 to the x, is still going to be another exponential function. So you will still have that a to the x, that exponential function. But this time, you're going to have times the natural log of a. Now really, you can apply this rule to e to the x as well. If you apply it, then what happens is it's e to the x times natural log of e. But natural log of e, remember, is actually 1. So that's why we don't write that. But this is your general rule. And if we had a chain rule going on, the derivative of a to the u would be a to the u times ln of a, and then chain rule always du dx. OK, let's practice a couple problems using this rule. So anytime you see an exponential, you should always be thinking derivative, um, antiderivative is an exponential. So derivative of 10 to the x is 10 to the x times natural log of 10. This one, you're, you have a, um, you have a fun, uh, u sub idea there. So the derivative of 4 to the 2x squared is 4 to the 2x squared times ln of 4 times chain rule, 4x. Number three, derivative of 3 to the sine of x is 3 sine of x times ln of 3 times chain rule. Derivative of sine is cosine. So then doing the antiderivative, we're just going to go the other direction. So the antiderivative of a to the u is still a to the u. You still have an exponential. But this time, you're going to divide by natural log of a instead. And remember, if it's an indefinite, you don't have bounds. You need to make sure you put that plus c. So the antiderivative of 3 to the x is still an exponential, 3 to the x. But you're going to divide by natural log of 3. Antiderivative of 5 to the x is still 5 to the x. But you'll divide by natural log of 5. Plus c. Now, if this um, the exponent is not just x, remember we have to use the chain rule always idea, or I'm sorry, the u substitution idea for integrals. So your u is really x squared. Your du is 2x dx. So that's why this extra x dx is here. We are missing that 2, so that's why when you rewrite it with the u, you have 1 half. All of this is part of your du, and you have 3 to the u du. So rewrite doing our u substitution idea. Antiderivative of 3 to the u is 3 to the u divided by ln of 3 plus c. And then let's go ahead and just substitute back in our u, which was x squared.